Hello and welcome to another video of Belgian Diecast Restorations. My name is Johan and this is my first video of the new year. So let me take the opportunity to wish all my viewers a great 2022. Today we're tackling not one but two cars. On my workbench I have two Matchbox number 18E field cars. One is the first series regular wheels from 1969 missing its tires and roof. The other one is a super fast model produced from 1970 up to 1974 that has suffered an awful encounter with a paintbrush missing pretty low on its rear axle. My aim is to restore the regular wheels to its former yellow and orange glory and to give the super fast version a custom paint job. The models are held together with two small rivets in the back. First I drill through the rivets with a 1.5mm drill to make a pilot hole for the screws. Then I take a larger drill bit to take out the rivet ends. Once the bottom plate comes loose, I can slide it out and the interior can come out. As expected, the suspension of the super fast car is broken. I have some spare suspensions in my parts box, but since I'm sourcing the canopy of another damaged super fast field car, I also take the bottom plate with a complete suspension. The roof canopy is held in place with a plastic nipple. I carefully drill away the ends to take off the roof. The wheels, bases and interiors first go into the ultrasonic cleaner. Then it's time to address the bent roof. I use a small watchmaker's anvil, a wooden dowel and a small hammer to carefully tap down on the bends. After a while the window frames are straight again. Now it's time to strip the paint. The castings go into boiling water with two tablespoons of caustic soda. For removing the paint from the plastic parts, I'm using Dettol disinfectant. It contains chloroxylenol, which softens any paint without damaging the plastic parts. Be careful, as it's not suitable for all plastics.
After an hour in Dettol, I take out the parts and remove the paint with a toothbrush. Dettol is not dangerous, but it has a very strong smell that penetrates your skin, so I prefer to wear gloves in order not to smell like a dentist's office. I use a wire brush to polish it all up and buff away the last flecks of paint that are left in the nooks and crannies. I also wire brush the dull bottom plates to make them shiny again. Then I tap the screw threads with a 2mm tap. The rivet posts on this model are very small and I discovered that my drill went through one of the posts so I can only use one screw on the super fast car. I sort a spare canopy from another car. They both have seen better days, a little amount of sanding or polishing will make them look like new again, so they will be painted. The tow hooks were broken off on both models, and since they won't be towing anything, I cut off the remaining ends. Now everything is ready for painting. After cleaning the castings with isopropyl alcohol to remove any remaining grease or dirt, I spray the models using Grey Vallejo Hobby Paint. These are spray cans that combine primer and a matte paint, but they are also very suitable to use as a primer. The blue Volkswagen Beetle in my logo was painted using Vallejo Hobby Paint as a primer. The Vallejo Hobby Paint being a primer and coat combination gives a nice covering without losing any of the fine detailing. Be careful that you don't spray it on too thick, just one coat will do.
One roof and interior are painted black with motive high gloss black automotive paint. The other roof is airbrushed orange again to hide the scars of the past. For this I'm using Vallejo 27 orange red. One casting is painted with two layers of motifs Dupli aerosol art Ariel 1023 traffic yellow, which is a very close match. The Ariel color standard is for industrial paints, but the Pantone standard is for printing. These motive paints are 1K automotive paints and are perfectly suitable for painting diacast cars. They also work with acrylic paints without any problems and give a nice gloss shine. The second model is painted with Tamiya TS95 Pure Metallic Red. The superfast wheels are thoroughly worn, giving them a greyish rough surface, so they need to be painted black again with Tamiya X1 gloss black. get a mold of chrome coat. I finish the models with Motive Automotive Clear Gloss Acrylic Varnish. Since the tires of the regular wheels model are gone, I had to buy replacements. These are 11mm threaded tires from modelcarparts.com in the Netherlands, which specifically fit Matchbox cars with small wheel hubs. I leave the link in the description. After the paint has dried, it's time to put it all back together again.
I touched the roofs with a small drop of super glue. The regular wheels model is looking factory fresh again, and the super frost model looks lovely in its red and black coat. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.